Amazing new time zone and reality, everyone. My name is Vel here at Science Way, and today we're assembling another kit from Roker. It is the Orpheus Music or Steampunk Music Box. So it's a little robot that makes music, or more so, it's a music box. So this is my second music box I've had my entire life, but the first one I've had to assemble. So if you haven't seen already, I have assembled another kit from Roker. Uh, to be clear, this is not sponsored. What I mean is I have received a kit from my parents. So I had the Curiosity Rover last time. So this is my second kit overall. And this is uh, Orpheus, I believe. That's how you say the name anyway. What I've done differently this time is I've kept all the pieces in their boards. So I believe this is laser cut. And last time I just popped everything out and kind of organized them. But that took up so much space in the work table or on the work table. So th this time I just decided to keep them in the boards and pop them out as I need them, which worked out a lot better because I wasn't as confused as which parts were which. Now some parts are big enough to where they, ha they are labeled, you know, it'll say like a C5 on it, but some parts are so small, the labeling is actually next to the cutout area. So even though if you pop them out and you can easily hold it back up to where you cut them out from, you're like, yeah, okay, this makes sense. I actually had it to where for the Curiosity Rover, I mixed up two parts because in the instructions, it doesn't always show you which part has a design on it. So one part had design, it was supposed to go in a certain place and one didn't, so I had mixed them up, which I think I do talk about in the video. So this time I was like, yeah, we're just gonna leave them in there, it'll be a lot easier. And what's different about this one is it moves a little more than the Rover, which is kind of nice. I can move the legs up and down, same thing for the arms. The Rover, you can just move the head and maybe one other piece, but it's not a limb. So I like this one a little bit. I forget what the difficulty is. I'll have to look. But usually you're just assembling things pretty symmetrically. So, you know, you make one arm this way, you make the arm just kind of mirrored a little bit. So, you know, that's pretty good actually. Same thing for the legs. And you will need batteries. Batteries are not included. You know, for the solar one, you don't need batteries because it's solar powered, but this, you will need it for the light. So it's not just music box. It has a little light and it just lights up, which is honestly really nice. In the video, I don't show it because I didn't have the correct batteries for it. It's not your typical AA or AAA or anything like that. It's one of those C batteries that are really small. We did not have any. I didn't actually get any until a couple months later and it wasn't even for the kit. We needed it for something else and I was like, oh yeah, by the way, I need some batteries of this exact size. I'm just gonna take like three of them. So <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I have a picture of it somewhere. So I'll either post it in the video or I'll post it on my Instagram, which is Instagram uh, at Science Your Way. All in all, I mean, it was a fun kit to put together. I think the only problem I remember having is that my back panel for the torso or the chest area won't close in the back fully. It holds it together, but you can tell there's a little gap. I think, oh, I didn't try to glue it in case I need to actually reach the music box for whatever reason, which is why I just decided not to glue it whatsoever. The instructions are pretty clear. This took me, uh, somewhere between four to five or four to six hours to complete. I did this in a day, I believe. And I just did this straight. I don't think I stopped for anything. I had lunch afterwards, I believe. This was kind of was quite a few months ago, but it was honestly a lot of fun. I love putting things together. It reminds me of putting, putting together Legos. It's not the same at all because nothing really connects together in the same way as Legos. You know, Legos has all the little uh, brick pieces. And it has a certain way of functioning, but with this you're using glue and already pre-cut notches. So it's not necessarily, you know, do whatever you want and assemble it however you want. It's definitely has a predefined way of assembling it. But honestly, it's really fun. There was a part where I have to have this little sheet cut up for the hearts and stick all the pieces on that. So I got my little X-Acto knife and uh, please get a parent if you're at least under uh, 12 or 13, get a parent to cut that. You could use scissors as well. I just personally chose to use an X-Acto knife, but please make sure you are supervised or get an adult. Just ask them first, please. It actually has a nice little effect when the light shines through it. I'm sure it'd have the same, the same effect if there wasn't that little plastic sheet, but I think it's kind of a nice touch. And I hope you all are enjoying this top-down view. Uh, once I got my workbench set up for my makerspace and I got a new webcam with the tripod, the 
workbench actually has a upper shelf so my webcam actually sits on there nicely with a tripod and I'm able to do these top down views now and I'm really enjoying them I've always wanted to do them for a long time I just never knew how so let me know if you like this better you can definitely tell it's a lot different than the rover video that one was just literally my webcam on a tripod on the floor and it was just overlooking the table I had such a small space to work with but here I have a bigger space to just have parts all over and it's honestly so fun i absolutely love it once again you could you uh, bah, you would have seen i cut more of the little plastic sheet it's not technically plastic but i actually don't know what it is i'm sure in the instructions it tells you what it is but it's like a little see-through plastic sheet it's not saran wrap it's almost um gosh i can't remember the name for it you kind of use it in cooking sometimes you just put it down i don't know <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you know what i'm trying to say but otherwise, like I said, assembling is pretty good. The glue, uh, there's only a few things to glue. Sometimes it's decorations on top that just adds a little more detail. Sometimes you're gluing pieces together with the rods. The hardest part I would say for these kits, I've had two so far, just the Rover and Orpheus. So far it's the rods. Cutting them, cutting them down isn't so bad. You could use scissors, but I personally like using the X-Acto knife. But it's more so getting the rods to fit through the holes of the pieces. Because sometimes they're really snug, sometimes they're really loose. And then depending on the parts, you can get a mix of both. So you might have it to where the rod is like longer on one end than the other, especially for the arms and legs. Or you might get it to where they're just even enough. They do give you this little measuring tool. So you can put the rods right up to the, to the measuring tool and cut it. So you're not trying to get a tape measure, which is kind of big compared to the rods. You can just easily put the, uh, the rod next to the measuring tool and just cut really precisely so I really like that I'm not sure if there was a tool for the last one I think there was but it wasn't that kind of measuring tool it was a different one but it was kind of like an all-in-one tool this one was just strictly for measuring and I actually really like that a lot better one thing I mentioned in the previous one is you can use or more so if glue gets on your hands you don't have to worry I know as as kids or even just somewhat in our teen life it's such a big deal to not get glue on yourself but it doesn't just stay there. Once the glue dries, it does peel right off your skin. So there's no, there's not a big worry if you do accidentally get glue on your hands. And it will happen. Sometimes you put too much glue and it squishes out and then it gets on your fingers. Or you need to like wipe it off quickly because it does set kind of quick. So yeah, I wouldn't say, you know, don't worry about it. If you do get glue on your hands, it will just peel right off. You can use hot water as well to help it off, to help get it off as well. And at the end, I had some extra parts, which I love. And I just cut some of them up and I, you know, glued them onto different parts. I had like an extra plant. There's little plants coming out of Orpheus and just some little extra knickknacks. I thought, you know, this would look pretty cool. So I, I just kind of added to it. I don't know if there's supposed to be spares in case you lose them or it's purposefully given to you as extras. So you can kind of decorate it however you want. I honestly don't know, but I love the fact that I can. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Pretty easy to do. I mean, personally, it is, I believe, 14 and up. And if I remember correctly, it is uh, three to four stars for difficulty out of five. So it is fun. I definitely enjoyed it. I would get another one. And I think I already have, but you'll have to wait and see for that. But anyway, thank you for watching. And now here is the music. <laughs> 